on the military kid thing. This is this is really really tragic. These young guys, uh, but uh, uh, someone like James would uh, would appreciate this. Is would would validate it. Is he did two full tours. He did two full full tours. One in Iraq and one in uh, Afghanistan. Two different wars. And uh, these kids now, and they're youngsters. They're in their twenties. They need help. They need help. And uh, very often, I'll just say it, and uh, James will have more to say on this, very often, it's not that they're blown off, but uh, maybe uh, the VA is not as quick as they could be to help these kids. So uh, if, if anything, and if it's, uh, if it's digressing, if it's, uh, you know, belaboring any point whatsoever, it's uh, we got to watch out for these young kids and get them help while, they, while they're young. Uh, and, uh, cause there's, uh, again, the typical, can you imagine, can you imagine the PTSD in world war one and world war two? Can, can you imagine? Um, so we need to get help to these kids, uh, guys like captain James are helping. You are helping, uh, one way or another, whether it's here in the United States, cause we got our issues, whether it's up in Canada or Alberta. Uh, well, like I said, we need to wake up here. Okay. People, people we need to wake up, take care of these kids. 22 officially kids a day is too much. Uh, I think, it, again, I think it's more like 30. So uh, back to you on that, Val. Okay. So instead of just saying we need to wake up, because I find we have some alt media that'll say, okay, we're, we're going to wake people up. Okay. So those that are sobered up, you know, we need to, we need to sit at the table and this is not well, we can't do something until, you know, the time is right, the weather is right, the right politician is in there. I think this is a time where uh, we come together and we deal with the crisis at hand. And uh, I'm fresh back from D.C., uh, so maybe it's because I know, uh, I know how politics works, um, but we can start changing that number. We can bring it down. And if it's one life a day, that's that's a saved life, and we start there. And I am I am just so sick and tired of some of these politicians that will say, "Oh, well, once I get there, just vote me in, and you know, just give me free reign, and then watch and see what I can do." I don't buy that. I I don't need uh you know a fake prime minister license like the one Justin Trudeau runs around on to get a hold of other world leaders and talk about what's going on. And in fact, that's that's how we need to address this. You know, we need to sit down, we need to tackle the biggest issues. That is one of them. That is a top, top concern. What is going on while they're serving that they're coming back and they're dying at, at you know, close to 30 a day? Like, we need to unpack this. Uh, I want to know why. I want to know what's going on over there. I want to know what's happening in the VA. I want to walk right through it. And th that accountability checks and balances are key. Mega matters is where James and Greg get into these national security level conversations. And you and I, moms, moms across America, moms across Canada, moms who love their families, we can come and we can say, what about this idea? And that's like... Uh, that's our community board. It's where we can be live and interactive with politicians that are actually searching.